Well, I think the most important thing for physicians is to recognize that any patient who presents with excessive sleepiness or a complaint of being tired, fatigued, sleepy during the day should be uh, considered the possibility that they might have narcolepsy, even if they're sleep deprived or have sleep apnea. Because what we recognize now is that narcolepsy can coexist with other sleep disorders. And I think uh, too many physicians are readily ascribe the sleepiness to somebody just not getting enough sleep, or, or maybe they have uh, some snoring and they have a bit of apnea and they ascribe it to that. But you have to look further. So I think the thing uh, that we need to do, because we recognize that uh, probably about 50% of patients with narcolepsy are undiagnosed. There's a very long delay from the onset of symptoms to diagnosis. So the thing we need to do is to really pick up on narcolepsy more quickly. And uh, not only in adults, but also in children, we know that 50% of patients with narcolepsy develop the onset of symptoms before the age of 16 yet the majority of patients are not diagnosed until the adult years. So we have to do better in terms of uh, recognizing sleepiness in children and looking for narcolepsy in that age group.